like I cannot like I had a hi hat stand, dude, collapse into two pieces, and I had to fix it. And like it was first song in, he said hi hat, and I looked down and the things in two pieces. I'm like the metal stand that has the two plates on it. That stand is folded in two, so I'm broken in two. So the rod that connects through, yeah separated from the foot pedal so the foot pedals okay. at a 90 degree angle okay. separated from the rod okay. and i just hear hi hat and yeah. this is my first night with them by the way mm-hmm. i look down and i see it in two and i'm like what do i do <laughs> like all right this is this is this is it like this is the job description so you need to you need to get on it so i, I try like gaffing it and it's not gonna work you know uh the the threads is he still it's playing just too at this much. Point? He's still playing, dude. This first song in, you know, and I'm already a nervous wreck because it's my first night with these guys. Um, I just know I'm about to go on tour with them. They're doing a local gig at home, so as I said, like if I if I can't do the Instagram thing, if I have a chance to work one of your gigs, like yeah, let me come out and get familiar before we just like fly out mm-hmm. first day and get our feet wet. Like I love like you know we didn't have any rehearsal dates or anything. Mm-hmm. So, um, anyways. I hurry up and I'm I'm laying down on the stage trying to fix this this stand um, and it's not working and I'm trying to be calm. Anyways, I take the hi hat uh, the symbols off of the stand entirely. Take the rod, I take the pedal, hold it up, and screw it into place and put the symbols back on, tighten them, and get the heck off stage. And it worked. Mm-hmm. And it's one of those where it's like. Damn, I never anticipated that happening, but I fixed it, mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's and that's a main part of the job. I had the other night same thing with like a kick beater. The beater is the the part that hits the the drum head. He was like, "Dude, I need you to move it. Like, I need more. I need more angle." And I'm like, "You're pl-, you know I'm thinking you're playing right now. Like, okay, that's what you want." I, I'm like laying down on my stomach and I wait for a break. And, you know, I unloosen it, get it right. Right, He feels that I'm there, so he stops. I tighten it as much as I can, and I get the hell off stage. Um, so it's just little things like that, just being ready. If a cymbal falls off, if a cymbal stand falls over, if a mic falls onto a drum, if a wire goes out, like there's so much that can happen. And I had a, a problem when I first started doing this, of just like I didn't even want to sleep or nap because I'm so worried about all the things that could go wrong. Mm -hmm. You just need to understand that things are going to go wrong. And uh, like my grandfather said, it's, it's, you know, don't worry about what you can't control, but just how you react to, to, to what it is. Mm -hmm. And, and I, and I'm trying to, and I'm trying to take that and put it day to day and not let anything get the best of me. And everybody's out here just trying to work and they're missing their families and just do whatever you can to make their life easier. And, um, yeah. And I enjoy it, man. I find I find something really special in it, and um, yeah, I'm I'm I have a great support system back home, and they make it you know doesn't make it uh, any easier like leaving them to come do this. But I appreciate them supporting me, trying to see things through and see the world and do some things that my parents didn't get to do and my family didn't get to do. Um, so yeah, no, I uh, I'm thankful for this journey. Mm-hmm. Super thankful for it. It is, and I think the you mentioned kind of the the flexibility you have to have and the resilience you have to have, and I think this job just beats it into it. This industry just beats it into it. Like there is, there is no other option. I think I entered it as a planner, and it's like the more you try and plan, it's like you're fighting the current. Like that you just 100%. you can't plan, and you can you plan to a degree. There's so much you can plan. And I we were talking before. It's like I I like having a plan just so I can deviate from it in the future. So I have some baseline. And it's like then I can go change, and I don't have to follow the plan. Right. But I like having a plan in place, and just like okay, this is. If nothing else goes right, at least I can depend on this. And probably along the way, I'll vary and find better options. But like it requires, yeah, I require that plan. But it's like I also have to accept that that plan doesn't mean anything. Just because I say this video is going to last from noon to 6 p.m., we might not be out at 6 p.m. Like it might be four. It could be eight. And I'm trying to be accurate and like playing those things. But it's like the goal here is to get the thing done. The goal here is not to be done in six hours. The goal here is not whatever, whatever is the goal is for it to be the best it could be. Mm -hmm. So however long that takes within reason yeah but that's that's the goal um in in everything that we do or should be is to to be the best that we could be 
is to in 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 everything and provide the best product that you can. Hell um, yeah. I you know I don't want to get all into the the TikTok stuff and all yeah. that, but um, you know TikTok loves the raw stuff, mm-hmm. and you know I love that anybody can throw together a video and it can it can get some vir- vir- virality and be seen. Um, but I, I don't know how that is for guys like you, you like who spend a lot of time to make sure these things like look as great as they do. And for some people just to, to throw, I don't um, know. I mean, I've put a lot of time or not necessarily a lot of time, but it's definitely something I think about of like, yeah, 